was a murder that shocked Kern County and made families question how well they know their own loved ones. And now the defendant convicted of that horrifying murder could soon be released from prison. 17's Olivia LaVoice brings us the update. Olivia. Well, Jim Parker Chamberlain was a teenage boy who seemed to have it all. When those who knew him heard he was the suspect in a horrific murder, they couldn't believe it. But when they heard who the victim was, it was simply unfathomable. Now the case is being reopened sooner than anticipated, and a judge will have to decide, does Parker Chamberlain deserve another chance at freedom, or is he right where he belongs? I'm shocked. I'm totally shocked. July 2001, police arrived to the home of beloved teacher, 40-year-old Tori Knapp. Knapp had been savagely murdered, stabbed 35 times. Real nice lady. I just can't understand how something like this could happen to somebody like her. Knapp was an unlikely target of such violence, but even more shocking was the revelation her only son, 15-year-old Parker Chamberlain, was her killer. Chamberlain says he woke up angry at his friend's house after midnight, walked three or four miles to his house, grabbed a kitchen knife, and stabbed her, reportedly while she slept. Chamberlain was a star student and athlete at Centennial High. He, he, he 4.0, he got good grades, and he had an awesome football career ahead of him. He's a big kid, and the coaches, I know, they expected a lot from him. So a guy like that, he just... It, it's a slap in the face for everybody because a thing like that doesn't happen around here, you know? No one could make sense of it. Some felt Chamberlain's deadly actions were the result of his steroid use, but it was and still is a debated theory. Parker William Chamberlain, is that you? Yes, Your Honor. You're 15? Yes, Your Honor. Chamberlain was tried as an adult. He was convicted of first-degree murder and sentenced to 26 years to life, sent off to prison as a teen. Flash forward to today. A bill signed in June gives the Secretary of California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation the authority to recommend a prisoner be resentenced to probation if they feel the prisoner has been rehabilitated. In this motion, filed by Chamberlain's attorney, Chief Deputy Public Defender Peter Kang, notes it's extremely rare for the CDCR to recommend anyone be resentenced and Parker Chamberlain is one of the few who meets the state's tough criteria. The motion lists hundreds of letters, certificates and notes in his prison file the defense believes proves Chamberlain deserves to be released. Among his work at Valley State Prison, CDCR records say he's a mentor to other inmates and volunteers for dozens of inmate programs and has achieved success and many programs himself. There's no denying he's thrived in prison, but the DA's office says that was to be expected. In Deputy DA Nick Lackey's brief, he says, quote, several of the people who knew the defendant best paint the picture of a highly intelligent, charismatic, and motivated manipulator. His performance in prison is hardly a surprise. Lackey concludes with writing, quote, just as the people who spent his formative years learning about his character anticipated, he is now a attempting to pull the wool over the eyes of those who hold the keys to his freedom. Ultimately, a Kern County judge will hear arguments from both sides, possibly even Parker Chamberlain himself. The judge will have the final say if Chamberlain is resentenced to probation and released back into society, or if he stays right where he is. If he's denied probation, Chamberlain will be eligible to go in front of a parole board in 2023. He is now 32 years old. The first hearing for this case is next week, and we'll keep you posted. But for now, in studio, I'm Olivia LaVoice, 17 News.